Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are here with another created or well recreated at this point. Um, we are redoing my sim self and updating her a bit with some new clothing from the new pack, uh, the cats and dogs pack because I love animals. Like I've always loved animals. I've always like wanted to have a bunch of animals as a kid though as a kid I didn't get very many animals. Like let's see here. When I was younger, up until like I was 10, I had dogs and a cat most of the time. Um, but from like 10 to the time I moved out of my parents' house, which was when I was like 18, 19, I think. I think I was 19 by that time because I was 18 my senior year of high school. Anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't have animals, but when I moved out, my parents got a dog. And I was so sad because I was like... I wanted a puppy, though the puppy does love me. He, he, he does love me. His name is Crump, and then like a few months ago actually, um, like they've had Crump for a few years now, uh, a few months ago they got another, they rescued another dog and his name is Mr. Beans, which he's totally adorable and he's a lot smaller than Grump thankfully because I can't like pick up either of the dogs, but I can't have Grump sit on my lap because I'm always afraid he's going to fall off because I can't hold him because I don't have the muscle for it because I'm I'm a very weak person um, like muscle wise because my legs are pretty weak due to like my disability and things like that. So. It's kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, I decided to, uh, redo my Simself to more portray the winter and autumn season because I felt like it was suit- like, it suited me a bit better, and a lot of the clothes do suit me a bit better, because I would definitely wear a lot of those in real life, because it is very cold where I live, too, so that's always fun. But I also decided to make Charles, which is my little channel mascot that I- received, I, th I think it was earlier this month or last month, I can't remember, or late last month, I'm, I'm not sure at this point, it all blurs together, I have no concept of time anymore, um, but yeah, this is Charles, the raccoon dog, cat, um, <laughs> he's, he's a cat technically, but he's a Japanese raccoon dog, and I think he is amazing, I love him, he's a very curious and, like, adventurous, I think, kind of animal. He has the prowler trait, the smart trait, and the curious trait. I think he would be like perfect for like a little detective mini-series. Like, Charles, what do I do now? <laughs> uh, I definitely want to do that at some point. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll do it if I ever start streaming, or maybe I'll do it as like a current household type thing. I'll just update you guys every once in a while. Or maybe I'll actually just do it as a mini-series, like, like, today. Charles is doing this for this thing. I don't know. It, it was funny. Um, but I definitely I definitely enjoyed creating Charles because it was the first time I'd really dabbled in the paint tool and I did have a reference picture so that made it a lot easier. Otherwise I would have been really overwhelmed with all of the, uh, the options and things like that. But I think he turned out fantastic. Though this is the second time I, I had to uh, create him. The first time I messed up the footage and uh, messed up the like the size of the window which was really annoying. And I don't know how I did that um, but I had to redo it and thankfully it worked out perfectly fine. And you can also find uh, Charles and Mace himself up on the gallery though when I re-downloaded him to like take screenshots and things um, I did notice there was like a kind of a, I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just me in my like, my settings, but like I noticed that some of the paint wasn't there, like as I'm painting him now he looks perfectly fine and I didn't miss any areas that I noticed, but maybe I did, but it, like, it, it looks like some areas were missing when I redownloaded him. So let me know if that happens and I will try to figure out what to do about that, but I'm not too sure how to fix that. Um, I know that there's been a few glitches with pets in the paint, the, the creative pet tools, so I hope they, they either fix that or find some way to 
make it not do that because it kind of made me sad because I worked really hard to make sure I didn't miss any spots the second time around because I noticed it the first time and I was really upset by it because I was like, but I thought I did this and it, it didn't register it. So I was kind of I was kind of sad. But anyway, hopefully they get that fixed and hopefully it works out just fine for you guys. But yeah, I've had an interesting past couple days. I've been kind of like tired and just very sluggish lately. My voice is kind of giving out on me a little bit. I need to drink a lot more tea and water now that it's really dry and cold outside. And my body is just like, ow, I'm in pain. And I've, oh, oh my God, that's another story I could tell you guys. My ankle has been such a pain lately. Like, uh, with my disability, my, my bones don't always set right. Um, and my, my left foot has decided to start turning outward and that's not good for the entire leg because it hurts obviously. Um, so I've had to start wearing an ankle brace to correct it but that's even painful because it's trying to correct what it's been so used to doing. And I'm hoping that like if I continue to wear the brace it'll, it'll, it'll eventually not hurt as badly but it kind of, it's kind of sad because it's like I've worked really hard to make sure that I can walk and do all the things that I need to do. Like I've come quite a long ways and I know I have but it, it's, it just kind of puts a damper on my day sometimes when I'm in pain and I can't like function. Um, but I guess it's something I'll have to get used to too. And I, being where I live doesn't help that either. Being in the cold weather definitely doesn't help my, my bones and my muscles. So. Hopefully I will get to move out of where I'm living and to somewhere warm. I, I'm dreaming of somewhere warm. <laughs> Maybe like Florida or something. I don't know. Though I probably wouldn't like that, it to be that warm. I would want somewhere where there's lots of forests and things like that. Definitely. I like greenery and naturey things. Even though I don't, I myself don't really particularly like being outside, I like looking at the outside. So I have to have a good view outside of my window. <laughs> I'm very much a homebody that way though. I, like I like outside, but I don't like being outside for long periods of time. Like I, I'm very much, I like my home. I, I don't know. I'm very introverted. And this has turned into a, such a really weird ramble. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know where this ramble came from, but I'm, I'm tired, and I actually just woke up from a good two-hour nap. I woke up at five this morning, and then I uploaded two videos for this week. And that, since I couldn't do anything while that happened, I went back to sleep, and I slept two hours more than I meant to. Actually, I think I slept like three hours. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I slept like three, three hours, not two hours. I meant to only sleep two hours, but I slept like three or four, I think. But I feel well rested now, but I'm also very babbling. I need lunch. Lunch would be good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. Mm. Now I'm talking about food. This is always good. Food is good. I really, I think I'm going to make some vegetables. I'm going to make some like steamed broccoli and eat that. That sounds really good. Um, hmm. What are we going to do? Oh, I also. There is going to be another episode of Furnish It coming this week. I think I might put it up on Thanksgiving just because it's going to be easy enough to d upload and be ready for you guys. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not going to reveal what it is because I'll talk about it in that voiceover. But I t let me know what you think of the new expansion if you have it already. Or if you're excited to get the new expansion, maybe for Christmas or something like that. Cats and Dogs has been so amazing for me. I have debated on and off to use the Control Pet mod to just kind of help with story progression and things like that. But I've actually decided not to do that. I want to try to... Um, play the game as it is and not rely on a mod, so that's fun, but I think Charles turned out quite well. Charles, my trusty Japanese raccoon dog, always ever faithful. <laughs> I find it so cute. I, I really need to add him to my end slate and mm, things like that, um, but that takes me like three hours to just do a five second clip like that, so we'll see how that goes. I 
I had I tweaked him so much as I was uh, painting him. I, I like I didn't like certain things, and I'm still not 100% satisfied with him either. But we'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video because I am out of time now. Bye bye.